Yo, what's up? It's your boy Walter Emanuel Jones, also known as Zach, the original Black Ranger. Hey! <laughs> Yo, check it out. Just gotta give a shout out to my boy. You know what time it is? It's time for the fan club. Let's go! Hey! I can't do this on my own, cause you know things ain't always sweet when you out here in these streets. But my morpher when it morphs, I made a fake. A week ago today, Power Rangers Once and Always was released on Netflix, and for the first time in a very long time, Power Rangers was going viral and getting the recognition that it deserved. It was so awesome to be a Power Ranger fan and see other people enjoying and talking about this special in a way that I haven't seen people talk about Power Rangers in a very long time. Now, today's episode is basically just talking about the hype and where do we go in this direction okay i think deep down the executives at hasbro and netflix see this as a success and i see this as a success i mean the numbers don't lie it was trending, it got great uh, Rotten Tomato reviews, there are hundreds of uh, video reviews on YouTube and just the internet in general of people talking high praises about this special. Now obviously you're always gonna have a hater or two here or there, but I feel like 80-90% of the people that watched this actually appreciated it for what it is. And there are some people out there that thought this was going to be a super high budget Netflix movie with a $100 million budget. Or some people wanted it to be Mighty Morphin, but wanted it to be more gritty. But then some people wanted it to be like the old one. And, you know, we get this all the time. And Bruno from MMPR Toys actually brought up this point. It's like people want the original but then they want it changed. But what made the original great was what it was back in the 90s. So I believe they tried to bring aspects of that back to life. And I appreciated that. Now, some people didn't know exactly what they wanted from this special because do you want the old 90s Power Rangers or do you want an all new mature type theme? And that's something that Power Rangers hasn't really mastered yet. The 2017 movie was more mature, but we see how that did numbers wise. It wasn't a huge failure, but it wasn't a huge success at the same time. There were more adult elements in this Power Rangers special. However, it still was a family project that you could watch with your family and your kids. And I enjoyed that. Now, moving forward, what exactly do we do with Once and Always? Do we make a part two? Do we do like another 55 minute special? Do we do like a longer special that's like an hour and a half, two hours long? Do we do like a 10 episode series? There are a lot of possibilities that I could see happening with Power Rangers, and I'm very excited. The Mighty Morphin gang really brought the hype back, and it was so cool to see Billy and Zack reprise their roles as OG Power Rangers. It was great to see Rocky and Cat, too. Don't get me wrong, but Walter Jones just did a fantastic job. His acting skills are really good, man. You could tell that he has been doing this for a very long time. Min was amazing too. Charlie Kirsch, you did an awesome job, girl. I'm hoping to see more of you. And it wouldn't make sense to release a legacy character like Min and then just put her in a one-off show special and never talk about it again. I do deep down believe that a part two is coming. Well, one, they set it up like that at the end of Once and Always. It is set up so it's an open-ended world where we can come back if it does good right and then the show did really well the numbers were amazing i don't think netflix releases like how many streams in a week it did or anything like that but i bet it is very high the fans absolutely loved this and me too like there were some fans out there that had some 
picks with it. But if you watch Power Rangers and you watch the last few seasons, a lot of this does make sense. I know some fans were wondering, how is Rita back? Well, Rita is a robot, right? And if you watch, you know, Lord Zed come back in Dino Fury, you can see that they're trying to bring some old villains back and they're trying to connect some dots. And I am so freaking happy for it. This week has just been fantastic and an amazing time overall. It really was magical. You know, I cover this show every single day and it put a smile on my face to see so many people happy and enjoying this. Now, you had a few fans that didn't like it, but I think overall, this was a plus. I really liked what they did with it. Now, there was talk that there was another script before JDF's passing, and there was talk that they were trying to bring all of the OGs back. Well, obviously, that didn't work. Uh, Amy Jo Johnson turned it down, JDF turned it down, and Austin St. John had to turn it down because he's dealing with legal trouble. Now, they rewrote the script, and I think they still did an amazing job. I loved that the stars of it was Min, Billy, and Zack. It was really cool. We had two original Rangers, and Min, a new character, kind of be the stars, and I absolutely loved it. And I loved Cat's role and Rocky's role, too. Don't get me wrong. They were amazing. I loved how cool they made those two look. They made the Power Rangers look really cool cool man but what are your guys's thoughts let me know in the comments speaking of the comments let's see what the fans are saying dc super steve said yeah they're not a real fan if they're not appreciative for what he's done for the power rangers franchise leave that man alone and let him do his job i think you're talking about simon bennett i did create a video yesterday basically sticking up for the man because i'm so sick of the fans running his name through the mud He's done a great job for Power Rangers. And I know I had one fan yesterday that was like, you need to quit sticking up for Simon Bennett. He's not a good person. I'm like, yo, I don't know if he's a good person or not because I've never met him. And neither have you probably. I'm going off of his work and what he has done for Power Rangers and the progress that he's made for the brand. That's what we're talking about. With celebrities and people in the media, you don't know if they're good people or not unless you actually meet them and hang around them and see what they're doing. So yes, I do get behind the people that are making a difference with Power Rangers. Johnny said, this is great to hear and I still think we will get a part two in the form of 10 episodes because once and always is a huge hit and there's so much potential for more. Let's go Ranger Nation. I 100% agree. Man of the USA Jones said, now it's time to focus on Cosmic Fury. Hey, don't worry. We will talk plenty about Cosmic Fury. Cosmic Tron said, if we have a brief hiatus from Power Rangers next year, we can still talk Ranger talk as well as fan theory videos, whatever we can come up with. You can still put out content in the meantime, but they should definitely green light part two after the success of the special. They had definitely put in the love and effort to give us something that we can definitely appreciate. And I have enjoyed the outcome of it. And I have a feeling that Cosmic Fury is going to be lit. Oh man, it's not just going to be lit, bro. It's going to be Litzberg. I can't wait for Cosmic Fury. If once and always is an indicator to anything, I'm so excited for Cosmic Fury. And Simon Bennett did say that once and always will be kind of for more adults geared towards them and cosmic fury is still a kid show so i don't think they're going to be talking about killing people or anything like that but i'm excited for it dino fury was so freaking fire max said the new story is a wonderful jumping off point and i definitely think that it's part of the reason why more people are coming back to the brand 
It is really great, an amazing story with good effects and twists, and the weapons and the zords look really cool. And I love some of the deeper elements too. I have high hopes for Cosmic Fury. Let's keep the love strong. It's a wonderful time to be a fan. Hey, I agree. That's my line. No, I'm just kidding, man. You know, I say that all of the time, but he's 100% right. Max is telling the truth. It is a wonderful time, a great time to be a fan. We got one cool thing already, and we're going to get Cosmic Fury in the fall, and I absolutely can't wait for that. Channel RM said, for me, I also hope to see more sequels, but it's got to stick with the MMPR stuff in my opinion. Would be cool if we see all the OG guys had Master Morphers and could use different powers, but I for sure think that they need to keep trying on bringing Zordon back. That would be crazy, and hey, they opened it up at the end of the episode, or special I should say, Billy is not giving up hope. So what do you guys think is going to happen? Let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. We love you guys so much. You are the real MVPs and the reason why we can continue to make content like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Peace. I want to give a special shout out to the Gold Ranger members, Anime King Nick, Chaos Draco, The Arctic Operator, Thomas Franco, Tim Rage, Dig Wyron, Roderick Hare, Miguel Ortiz, The Voiceless One, Let's Talk Sports, Dead Echo X-Ray, Papillon Oger, Roderick Ham, Jason Marazas, Austin White, and Willie Maloney. Thank you guys so much for your support, and if you want a video shout out like this one, sign up to be a Gold Ranger member today. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this content, you know what to do. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. You can also become a member. Please join the fan club support team right now. We have a Blue Ranger power up and a Gold Ranger power up. This is an awesome way to talk with the fans, join a fan club official chat group. You can also be featured in our videos. At the end of the videos, I will shout you out. That's if you get the Gold Ranger Power Up membership. Go check it out. Go support the fan club. We love you guys, and thanks for watching. Peace.